taking this last of our barley that we harvested down to the sell point to sell it off and we're going to until time for the combine to run we're going to do some baling or at least go and try and hire a baler to do it once we've got this back to the field so uh, it's at the moment too early in the morning to start the combine so uh, got to wait for the dew to settle so that gives us another just under six thousand pounds so we've got seventy five thousand pounds that's after the overnight loan interest and everything has gone off so we've overnight lost about ten grand uh, we need to bail these bales up because we need as much money as we can and settling the bales will uh, make it all the better for doing so it's not massive amount of money so hopefully it won't cost too much to hire a round baler for now and maybe hire a bale trailer or buy a bale trailer because we will be doing our own bales with our own baler before too long as you can see we've got the shuttle control now on and working so uh, makes it so much better to deal with everything we will take the trailer down to the main farmyard and then head up to the shop and see if we've got a baler we can hire Should get enough. We've got three fields to bale. There's the one we've just gone past, or the one we're about to go past just there, which is ready for baling. We have also, of course, with within the ten grand that we have left, less than yesterday, we have got ourselves a fuel tanker, a fuel tank, so we can now fill our tractor up in the yard, in the shed long way off being up and running as we want to be so now head up to the shop and we'll see you once we get to the shop okay we are arriving at the shop so we shall see about getting ourselves a baler into the shop we go equipment baling technologies we will have to hire uh, this roll belt 2499 pounds initial leasing cost we will lease that and we won't lease We won't lease the trailer until we need it. We don't want to be having daily costs added on before we get all the harvest up, which shouldn't be too long. So 
There we are. Now we shall head down to the field. Should now be able to get some bales. So we shall see you once we get back to the field again. Okay, here we are, back at the field. Well, we've got speed wobble on. We're going to have to straighten ourselves up. Really need this steering sorting. It is, at the minute, intermittent that we can use it and intermittent that we can't. So we're not getting a lot of straw off of this, although it's had a lot of rain on it since we harvested. So that's not never a good thing when it comes to bailing, but uh, and here we go, down to this way now, no. steering still not perfect, but uh, we will head down to try and get our first bale. Taking a while to get it to even bleep. There we go. Now the bleeping started. So uh, and now we shall get the bail out. Heading down towards our second bale. Not getting much straw up here, but uh, what we do get is important to us. We've got to cover the cost of the baler, the bale trailer, and everything to get ourselves running. So down we go now. Out of here, and then we can drop the bail. There we go. Two bales up of here. ourselves up because we haven't got time to turn room to turn because of the trees. And down we go. So we shall see how many bales we get off this field. This is the only field we're bailing on camera thus far. Uh, I'm sure. See how many bells we get. There's another one. 
Yeah, we need to make as much money off this farm as we can <coughs> in this first year. And uh, of the Edlands pretty much the plan here today thus far. We've almost got another bale done. The we've got a bale counter that we have to bring up a I think trying to bring the bale counter up and we are uh, there's the bale counter, three or three total. This is the last of the Edlands and we'll be going straight up and down. Now round we go. Hope we've got enough room this time to turn ourselves around and into our next row. Which is right here. straight up and down. I'm not going to mess about trying to turn sharply. We shall go around and uh, really have grown the rain of course didn't help it's uh, always get that problem when it rains that the weeds grow better than the crops if it's dry the weeds grow better than the crops but, uh, everything's going well with the baler good job we hired it it's uh, too expensive for us to warrant buying one at the moment but uh, of course next season we will have more crops once we get all these fields drilled and 
ready for harvest this year of course some of the fields were harvested before we took the farm over we have left some crops which is great we do at some point need to buy ourselves a grain dryer difficult times at the moment we need to buy stuff we need to pay off loans and before we can do that we need to spend money we are managing at the moment just we've got to these bales up now nice and quickly almost got another bale in the chamber so uh, that round will go again down this breed and that was a short breed there so not a lot of straw in it but uh, we'll come pick this piece up whilst we are heading in this direction and the bale almost full again now, so uh, we shall turn down here into this one. It is now time, of course, also to get the combine running, so we will finish this off on camera, we'll finish the harvest off and get the combine washed and put away off camera. Uh, for now we need to get these bales baled up and at least if we get any straw any rain the bales will be wet but they won't be stopped from doing anything and we shall go down this breed and back down to the other way <coughs> down this row Straighten ourselves up down here. Did think I'd found a nice little yard tractor, but uh, it wasn't suitable. Someone was selling a TAP 42, which, although it's not a big tractor, I thought it would have been okay, but it got too many problems. It was an oldish tractor, I think. 18 years old so uh, didn't want all the hassle of repairing it to use on our farm and now we've overshot our straw row and uh, almost with another full bale this bale will go in the yard we will bale the rest of the straw next time you join us we can see the bale there nicely in the, uh, in the mirror round we come and uh, one more breed I think left to do after this one and as we're heading to the yard we will say our goodbyes to you properly there we go and now we can do the baling show you the straw going in the baler there it's all working pretty well and now we will 
not going to get another bale out of this field or there is some bits of straw left dotted about we shall lift that up take the baler switch the baler off take the baler to the yard and uh, that will be it for today so if you want to see more of the work we're doing then Summer Farm Estates will be hosting us for a while yet so this is the end of our blog please give it a like give it a share if you are new to Summer Farm Estates channel please subscribe to the channel give that bell a kick it will tell you when they do the videos when I do my blogs when there's live streams up and running until next time this is John Greenway of Maple Farm saying thank you for watching catch you next time take care everybody and goodbye for now